Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at three different types of centerline scribes, all sold by the same seller on eBay. Now over the years, uh, a couple of things have had major uh, changes or improvements in the quality of the knives and the quality of the bevels uh, that I have produced. Uh, number one is probably the purchase of a good uh, 2x72 grinder. Uh, number two would be uh, to use a, a good a jig. I'm using a, a tilt table work rest, uh, which allows me to set the angle of the bevel nicely. And three is a very simple tool called a centerline scribe. Now recently, Jason and Northgard and I uh, published a book called Introduction to Knife Making, The Beginner's Do-It-Yourself Guide to Knife Making. And in that book, we detailed how important it was to create center lines, or actually parallel lines, on the blade's edge called railroad tracks. Those lines are used as a visual reference when grinding, so that you're grinding bevels on both sides that match up perfectly with the center line of the blade. Here you can see a knife on the tilt table and the 2x72 grinder, and I'm just using those center lines as a guide. The end result of creating nice, even, parallel center lines, again called railroad tracks, are much improved bevels. So this is my existing scribe. Uh, I had gotten this years ago off of eBay very simple tool. The scribe can actually be used for by freehand uh, bevel grinders uh, on the side of the blade, but I don't use it for that. I just use it to scribe the parallel lines. You hold the knife flat onto the scribe, the carbide tip scratches a line, and you flip the blade over and scratch from the other side. It's adjustable as far as the depth for the different thicknesses of the blades that we use, and it works very nicely. Very simple, very straightforward. In order to find the three scribes that I'm going to look at today, just go onto eBay and type knife maker scribe. The search comes up with three scribes. They're all from the same seller, uh, Case Spirit 9. The first one we're going to look at is, is my existing scribe. It's very straightforward. All of these are in the 20 to 25 dollar range so it's not going to break the bank. I noticed he had a couple of other designs. The second one that we're going to take a look at is a self-centering scribe and this utilizes a block as well as two bearings that will self-center the scribe on the blade. So that'll be interesting. And the third design that the same seller has is a block scribe. So so this scribe, you need a flat surface. The flat surface, the blade will rest on the, flat, on the flat surface, as will the scribe. And then you just slide it along in order to scribe your line. So let's go back to my existing center line scribe. It's a little bit, a little bit dirty from use. I've had this for about three or four years now. And it has two knobs that you can adjust for the height thickness of the blade, you can change out that carbide tip if you need to, I, I haven't. And you hold the blade flat, try not to wobble it at all. Just glide it along the scribe's edge, flipping the blade in between, and you end up with two beautiful, straight, even, parallel lines. You can set the distance between those lines to your liking. Um, I set them so that the rough grinds that I do just come up to those lines. And then the finished grind, which I'll do after heat treating, will then you know, take that bevel almost to an edge. Get a little bit better look at the railroad track parallel lines. And that's really the foundation or the starting point of most good bevels. Now the second scribe that we're going to take a look at is the self-centering scribe. It's got two bearings that run on either side of the blade with the 
carbide scribe located in the middle. This is the first time I've used this scribe, and it was really very easy to use. I was, I was kind of surprised. It basically just rolls on the blade. You apply a little bit of pressure, and you scribe a line. Again, I flipped it over and, and rescribed just to confirm that it was actually drawing exactly in the center, and, and it works. The only downside to this scribe is that it's only going to give you a center line. It's not going to give you the parallel railroad track lines, which I kind of like. But if you only want a single line, uh, I would highly recommend the self-centering scribe. The third design that he has is a block scribe. I had never used this one either. Uh, this one rests on a flat surface, as does the blade. I'm going to use a thick piece of glass that I have in the shop, an old glass shelf. You can set the height of the scribe very easily with a knurled knob. And just like with, with my scribe, you, you scribe one line, then you flip the blade over, and you scribe again. Using the flat surface on this block scribe actually eliminates any of the wiggling and wobbling from the handheld scribe. Again, you end up with perfect railroad track scribe lines. So all in all, all three scribes are very, very well constructed. Uh, any one of them is going to last you a lifetime. Uh, all of them, you can same change uh, the carbide bit. If you want railroad tracks, I would pick either the, the handheld or the block. And if you want a single center line, I would go for that self-centering scribe. And then, as you're grinding, just use those lines as your visual reference when grinding your bevels. And you should end up with a nice, clean bevel line. One last look at the different types of, of scribe tools. And again, these are all found on eBay uh, by searching for Knife Maker Scribe. And then the, uh, the seller is K-Spirit 9. This is the self-centering. And then the last one that we took a look at was the block scribe, which really was very, very simple to use. I'm, I'm probably going to end up using that the most in the future. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you're interested in Jason and my knife making book, Introduction to Knife Making, that can be found on Amazon.com. I'd like to give you all an invite to join us on our Facebook group, Knives and Knife Making. By all means, join and post some pictures of your own creations. Uh, check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com for all of our knife making videos and on my own site, BergKnifeMaking.com. Thank you very much.